Hello everyone, welcome back to Pro Web Coder. In the last video, I explained about the theme architecture, uh, some basics about the theme architecture. Today, I'm going to talk about in detail about the layouts directory, which is in the theme architecture. You know, if you did, did not follow my previous lecture, you can just uh, check the documentation of uh, Shopify under architecture and you, you'll be able to see whatever I explained in the last video. So everything is included in this uh, uh, this documentation provided by Shopify. And again, I'm going to go through the documentation so that everything is covered, including the documentation and whatever I have expertise in, I'll also share with that uh, with the documentation as well so today we are going to learn about the layouts now what is layout so basically what we previously studied was uh, you know if we see the architecture the architecture says we have a config file we have assets we have layout we have local sections snippets templates so we studied about all of the these in in brief but today I'm going to talk in detail about the layout section. The layout includes theme.liquid, the password.liquid. What does the theme.liquid do? Basically, it does one thing. It shows the content which is repeating on every single page. For example, if we talk about uh, a website, let's, for example, this. This has header and the footer same across all inner pages so if we talk about inner pages let's go back uh let's let's see a collection okay so before that i'll have to actually start it so again start the development server with the help of shopify theme dev store and the name of the store okay and we press enter and it will do its processing in the my meanwhile it's doing its processing i'm going to explain about uh, theme.liquid well theme.liquid is a uh, is a file which is kind of repeating and uh, as i explained this uh, header the footer also remains the same across all inner pages so if if i go in any inner page the header and the footer remains same the inner content changes all right uh, even in contact any any page the header footers remains the same and the content changes changes so that's why we have this uh, layout file in which theme dot liquid you'll see a lot of code over here but what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove these code because we are going to st study the structure so we'll only include the codes which are required as per the documentation let's go to the documentation so uh, documentation says we can just the basic layout example so what we need over here is content for header content for header goes inside the head of the uh, head of the uh, you know head head of the HTML so and content for layout is the so content for header is uh, all the files which are the SEO metadata uh, etc is included in in content for header so if I copy this and if I paste this and I'll just remove these things You'll see it will still work, although it it it, it will lose a few things. What it will lose, what it will lose will be the uh, layout. I would say uh, if we go back to the home page, it loses the layout. Uh, so if you check the previous version, we had. Uh, let's go back to the previous version first of all you'll see that there is a before body let's go up 
and the section header group is called so we'll also call this header section group we'll keep the these things for now so that you know we do have the header and the footer also so and let's go back to what we had now so under body we'll put this thing just for now because um, you know i'm going to explain everything to you so we got header missing and we were missing the footer also in our this version so we are just looking for header and footer also over here so we can get that section and we can just uh, call that section section header group and let's see we have this header and uh, we, we we do have unstyled version of uh, of this header and footer but that's the basic layout actually so that's the basic layout if we want to add uh, you know the overall structure also we can add that but that is a basic layout what we'll get with this uh, uh, you know basic documentation uh, documentation provided by shop uh, basic layout example so that's what we'll get with this basic example all right and then uh, we can uh, use some parameters like uh, template so we can use uh, for example if i want to add a class class equal to and i just wanted to ensure that uh, every single page has a different class so uh, we can just use like it sh it should be differentiated between a product page and a normal page and uh, a collection page and and so on so let's uh, you know try to add a, a name template template dot name and what does it do we'll just see so uh, demo let's see what it say so we'll save it and uh, we'll wait for it to refresh and let's see the header uh, let's see the body part over here and uh, we see in the body part we have this index if i try to go to collection page let's see what's the collection it shows the collection if i click on uh, you know any product for example if i i think so i don't have any products in there uh, we can add a product but uh, for now i'll just uh, click on the cart page just to show that uh, this url also changes with the cart page and then if i click on contact it shows that it's a page okay so basically we can differentiate between pages by using this dynamic values like template it it is an object so we can use a lot of things with this so template uh, parameters can be used so we can even check this under edit code what 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 other parameters we can include so let's do it so theme dot liquid and uh, you know we have this template so so let's add one more thing just to show that template it shows an option over here, dot whatever you need uh, if it's a suffix we need template suffix we can get the template suffix and uh, let's refresh this we'll get the template suffix that is contact in this case and uh, let's click on home what we'll get would be nothing because there is no suffix in the end catalog it will show nothing again but with contact it shows some kind uh, you know suffix value so uh, these are some dynamic values for 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 this header now um, i actually want to make it uh, style it the way it was but uh, as as it is a tutorial 
as it is, is a is tutorial which in which we'll have to do it uh, from scratch so i'll not include uh, the layout for now just for now because uh, even in the password page we can just uh, use the same layout this whole same layout the password page is the page in which uh, we uh, can include the passwords or sorry uh, whenever a person visits to a page and uh, the store is password protected that is the password page all right so let's uh, let's include this as well and let's remove uh, so i'll just include this body part for now just for now and uh, we can also include uh, the js uh, if required so body part i'll include and uh, uh, we can also include the style sheet just to make it styled for now but you know we can change it at any time so uh, we can go with the base style section password this thing we need this as well again this is completely optional you if you want to do everything from scratch you can do it from scratch but uh, for the sake of this lesson i'm just trying to include only few things not complete so uh, i included this so let's remove this and let's see the password page now how to check the password page you can go to customize and uh, others uh, and then password page how does it look that's how it's looking at the moment but yeah it's uh, some basic form and, uh, yeah so that's about uh, this layout folder we can actually ed edit this whole thing uh, uh, whatever was being edited over here and it should be transferred uh, in, in into this version also but yeah if it is not transferred we can just simply that's why we rely on um, this local development we, we can just push this to our local file save it and it should be synced or updated the reason i showed it over here because uh, you know while we do code in this section it shows some options for example i want to add something page dot whatever thing would be included page dot handle right that should be included so we can include that with the, with with this whole whole thing right so you see this this is uh, like it's not coming from that part but uh, let's see if we want to include this page handle okay uh, let's close this and uh, uh, we can put this over here and let's put it over here page dot handle and save it uh, so that it's synced with the this version and let's see and uh, if there is no page then it will not show the handle but it should show the handle if there is a page and why it's not showing the handle let's see because i think so we are I, i'm including it in the header uh, if I uh, don't include it in the head so we should be including it over here okay oh by the way actually I was doing it in the wrong place I realize I'm using uh, password dot liquid I should be doing it in theme dot liquid all right so my fault and I hope everyone who, who were watching me I have realized that I was working on the password page so let's see 
we see this over here uh, if I zoom it you see this contact coming up over here and yeah and let's click on catalog uh, catalog is not a page so it's not it, it's not going to show uh, this page dot handle but we can add some dynamic values but yeah hope everyone uh, has understood what I mean by this this whole structure in the end theme dot liquid is an important file which might be necessary to include uh, sections some sections repeating sections for example header and footer and uh, I actually call the footer let's not re let's not call it after the layout so yeah let's do it this way and uh, just to conclude it uh, I can actually include uh, the style sheet just for, for for the purpose of making things clear uh, or maybe I'll I'll actually do it one by one as I move on um, into this this whole chapter so we'll be including style sheet one by one also and whatever we want to design we can design it in our own way so that was all about uh, this layout folder uh, you can also add uh, theme dot alternate over here theme dot alternate would be uh, you know if you want to uh, include a different layout for different files so for that you can use theme dot alternate or theme or dot whatever you need uh, to be an alternate layout for a particular page so you can call that alternate layout onto that page and uh, it would be easier for you to for example in certain pages you don't want this uh, header or footer for example in a landing page you don't need the header and footer so f in in that particular case you can uh, skip you can add a, an alternate layout an alternate layout and call that alternate layout onto that particular page for example uh, this for this template uh, this template so you can call it over here so I'll be talking about that uh, in later chapters but I think so everyone might have understood about theme.liquid and password.liquid by now and uh, yeah everything should be clear by now I'll be working on uh, you know as per the document let's see what's the next topic we should be studying we don't need to study the checkout dot, check dot liquid that's for plus customer shopify plus customers so i'm not going to talk about this next we are going to study templates in templates you see a lot of things are there so a lot to study and a lot to learn so if you have already not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because I would be explaining everything from scratch which would help you to create beautiful and uh, uh, professional Shopify templates or websites for your clients. So thank you so much for today and I'll see you in next video.